Hey guys, okay, so this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the wiring is like inside these uh, Western plow lights. This is like a 93 sort of year uh, Western plow. And I'm having some issues with the lights. A couple bulbs are burnt out. I just got this. Um, and there's a grounding issue. So if you guys you know, are new to this plow or just wanna know what's going on with the wiring stuff, I'm just gonna quickly take this apart. We're gonna clean up the grounds. Um, and I'll go through the wiring and stuff and how everything's wired. So if you're having issues, hopefully uh, you can kind of figure it out yourself. So first thing we're gonna do is take this bolt off the bottom here, cause that's how this whole light assembly and all the lights are grounded to the vehicle through the frame. So if this ground right here is bad, uh, you're not gonna get a good ground. So we'll start with that. Okay, so this is just a three quarter inch knot. Rusty. Clock washer. I already got the other side off, so the plate moves around. So there you go, that's how it's grounded through there. We'll open all this up. And you gotta make sure all the steel's clean. So we're gonna clean that, clean that, clean this, so we get good grounding. Okay, first thing we have to do is get into this. Um, so we got four screws here. Pop this cover off. So these are your uh, running and turn signals. So they both are running and they both are turn signals. So it's one of those uh, 2257s, I believe. Uh, or sorry, yeah, 1157. So they're 1157s, which are pretty common light bulb. It's got the two elements in it, the brighter one and the dimmer one. So I'll put those back in there for now. Uh, take off this cover plate. Okay, so we'll go through uh, the wiring here first uh, before we check everything. So hopefully this is clear to you guys. So you've got your headlight here. The green is your low beam, red is high beam, black is ground. Uh, and then you've got your two uh, running lights and signal lights here. So the blue is the signal light, so the brighter of the two elements. And the yellow is your running lights all the time. So this is where the ground right here goes through this bolt and this adjustment, sort of like a ball type thing, so you can move the light around. It grounds through here through the frame. So I, I don't think I'm gonna get a good ground here, but I've got my ground, which essentially comes from my battery. I've got a power probe going here. If you guys aren't familiar with that, all this is is just a fancy diagnostic tool, but really all I'm using it for is to deliver 12 volts of power by clicking this button to this tip. And then this negative um, is just providing negative from the battery. If you don't have this, you can literally just run a wire to the negative side of your battery and then get another wire going to the positive side of your battery that would go to a, like a little test lead or something. So we'll click it, we'll uh, clip it on here <clears throat> and see if we can get the high beam to work. So nothing. So it leads me to believe this, this is probably bad, it's pretty corroded. So what I'll do is I'll just put the ground right here onto something that's a little cleaner and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so there's your high beam low beam and then so your blue is your bright of the two elements so there's that so it would be like that in your vehicle right when you're turning and then the yellow one is your running lights so they're they're running all the time and if you're wondering why this one's not lighting up it's because i don't have the bulb in because the bulb is burnt out so before you do these tests it's always a good idea to just take the bulb take it out and just test it so all you do is the outside is the ground and so there's the brighter of the two, and there's the dimmer, so that'll be your running lights. And uh, like I said before, it's just 1157 bulb, very common. 
Um, another thing you want to check, which I did, is I cleaned the ends of my terminals here, make sure you're getting good contact. Um, make sure these terminals are clean, that type of thing. But usually the problem is just this, this ground area right here. So we'll, we'll clean all this up, uh, put it back together, and uh, we'll see how it works. <clears throat> okay, so from the factory, this uh, ground is usually on that little block right there, but a lot of the times it just uh, wears off or corrodes off. But anyway, so we'll just move that. And all this is, there's a little sort of metal clip. Sometimes it's down there because it's corroded. Um, but we're just going to pull that out. You don't really need to put it back. It's just to hold everything together, but it's not really necessary. So you've got your uh, sort of spacer with a rounded top. And then this whole bolt assembly comes out like that. So you've got your sort of flat flange with the ground lug and then a rounded washer and then your carriage bolt. And one more piece, which is up in there is this. So it kind of mates. So that when you tighten it down, you can angle the light any way you want on this sort of ball, and you can adjust your lighting. So we'll clean all this stuff up. Now I got all the pieces cleaned. So they should be good to go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on them. This is just like a rust preventative. It just sits down in there like that. And then our bolts with the washer. Like that. And then this piece with the little notch on it uh, meets up with that notch there. And our sort of ball shaped washer. So we'll put that like that for now. Put the lock washer on and the nut. And then all we have to do here is attach our ground wire. So I just rewired all this so it's a little bit cleaner and get a good ground. So we'll attach that. There we go. All right, let's put it back on the frame. Uh, yeah, so got this all wired back in here, got the ground on. So all that's left to do is put this into here. And then I'll just go through the wiring one more time uh, so you guys know uh, which leads go to which light on the connector there. So let's just get that in. Well, first thing we gotta do is feed this through. Put that grommet back together. And, uh, yeah, well, the light goes with uh, the headlight at the bottom. So, put that in there like that. Put our screws in. Okay, so the last thing, we'll just go through the wiring one more time, in case you guys are wondering. So if you're looking at the light end of the plug, the plow end of the plug, the female end, um, I've got it written down on this page here, which I'll, I'll zoom in on after I'm done this. Um, but this bottom right one, so I'm grounded to the frame, bottom right one is going to be your turn signal, top right is going to be your high beam, top left low beam, and bottom left is your running lights. Okay, and then when you plug into your harness here, so this will be the male, oh, I'll grab that in a sec. So this will be the male, um, and this will be wired into your truck, or yeah, this will be wired into your truck. So we'll plug that in. 
that. And so blue, blue is your turn signal. Yellow, uh, running lights. Red is high beam, black is low beam. So from that, you guys should be able to wire up your truck pretty easy there. Just wire it into the headlights, turn signals of your vehicle. You should be good to go. So hopefully that helps some people out. I know watching these makes it a little bit easier for me when I'm uh, tackling these projects, but I couldn't find any videos on the lights. And last thing, I'll just zoom in on that. So you can screenshot that there whenever you like. So the top square is, is gonna be the, the harness coming off the plow. And then the blue, yellow, orange, black there is gonna be the wiring going into the truck. Okay, thanks for watching guys.